Okay, now we'll get started. Um, so I will pop on tomorrow live and just share with you guys my thoughts for May because for some reason I was thinking I had another week of April, um, but it's definitely, <laughs> I definitely don't. So um, tomorrow's the 30th and then next full week, we're kind of planning on a challenge group sneak peek. Um, so if you wanna just keep that in the back of your mind, um, if you have people who are interested in a challenge group, not sure what it is, they wanna check it out, but they've never really heard of it before, I'll get you the link to that group. And we're just gonna go live in there a couple times a, um, a day for a couple of days just to kind of give people an insight of what a challenge group is. And then the following week, let me make sure I'm looking at the right date. The following week is the seventh. And so I'm gonna be trying to get um, as many people as I can in that to be mindset group. Um, it does launch the second, so I'm gonna to try to get people um, signed up uh, the second through like the ninth because I want to start my challenge group for to be mindset on the 14th um, So that's gonna give us two weeks to first of all get to be mindset Second of all go through to be mindset ourselves for like a week or two and then like Hopefully people will be jumping on by then um, The reason I'm not going to start to be mindset like May 3rd is because first of all that gives me anxiety because I'm getting it May 2nd <laughs> and Second of all, I want to go through it myself for at least seven days um, So then that way like if someone asks me a question I can say yes or no or I've been through this or here's my experience um, so the plan for our team is May 14th to do like a group wide um, to be mindset on Facebook. Um, and so I'll get that group open and get the link to you. So if someone orders Wednesday, when then we launch, we'll just add them in that group. Um, I did a video, I think it was Friday maybe or Saturday um, about to be mindset. So check that out. I talked about the group, how to set up your own to be mindset group. Um, and then we'll run a team wide one together. So you don't have to stress about posting and all that stuff. You just need to like fill it basically. Um, so kind of focus last two days of the month. If you're pushing for success club, trying to help three to five people. Um, we have a success club pod going on for just like pushing and stuff, sharing invites, posting, um, use tonight to chair, to chair, to share a transformation or some sort of post to kind of get some engagement, get some call to actions. Um, and you have, you know, tomorrow as well to kind of check back with people. I know Monday for some reason is a really good day for me to check back with people and just say like, Hey girl, did you get my message from this weekend? I knew you were probably super busy, but just wanted to, um, check with you before I crossed your name off or something like that. Um, then also, um, May 1st, May 2nd, I'm going to be talking about to be mindset like crazy, trying to get people to um, secure their challenge pack the second through probably like the ninth and then getting them into that challenge group for the 14th. Um, and so that's really all my focus is, is going to be to be mindset for like the entire month of May. Um, just because of the fact that like it is going to change people's life. It's going to change my life. Um, because of the fact that I've been doing some research and stuff already and I suffer from thyroidism and or hypothyroidism. So mine doesn't really work. I'm super crabby, tired and sluggish all the time. I feel like a zombie. Um, and she, talks about that and talks about the kinds of foods I should be focusing on eating. Um, I'm also like a stress eater and I binge eat until I like throw up um, because I'm not really sure why. I just like feel like I'm missing something. And she's going to talk about that through videos and try to like work through that with you. Um, and then also um, I feel like I social drink, but at the same time, like after school or something, I like immediately think I need to be drinking because I have like a stressful day. And she talks about how to get through that. Um, we live at the lakes. And so the summer is like always boating, drinking, eating. And she talks about how to like go out to eat and be okay. And, and those kinds of things. And so I think it's going to be really good for people. Um, just because it's not, um, it's not dieting. It's not strict. It's not, um, it's not even like hammering workouts, which is going to be weird for me. I'm kind of excited to see what she says about workouts and stuff. Um, I know they're not required, so that's something, but I will be working out. However, I'm excited to see the change that my nutrition makes um, that I usually get from my workouts, if that makes sense. So, um, so I would just say the focus next couple of days is trying to help your three to five people really boosting up that mindset, really talking about to be mindset with people, get your Facebook group open. If you don't know what I'm talking about, or you've never heard of it before, check out our team page. I did a couple videos. I've been sharing like crazy with to be mindset, um, in there for you guys. So you have all that information and then 
really just focusing on May, you guys, I'm planning on helping three to five people May 2nd. Like I'm getting it done and out of the way so I can really focus in on helping my challengers, helping myself um, with to be mindset. I don't think that's selfish by any means since it's a new program um, and just really getting all of that out there. So um, that's all I have for like the month so far. I'm not going to like fill your head with too much stuff. So just really focusing on, um, you know, your call to actions and to be mindset. So just keeping those two things. Um, and then I'm going to get into the meat of the call right away because you guys, I know you're taking time away from your families and I appreciate you being here. Um, so hopefully you can see this. Okay. I'm not going to go into presenter mode. So then that way I can see your guys' faces. Um, I hate talking to my, <laughs> Actually, I like talking to myself, which sounds super weird, but um, I hate like like staring at a screen and like just talking. It's just super weird. So um, if you have questions, just unmute yourself and just be like, I have no idea what you're talking about. Um, or if you need help with something, I will stop at the end and ask for any questions and try to answer um, anything. But basically, our call tonight is about posting. And I wanted to talk about this because I got off a call with one of the coaches tonight. Um, on my way home, I was driving from Lamar's and I was talking to her on the phone and her biggest thing that's keeping her from being a rock star coach or from getting to where she wants to be is simply posting on social media. And she, every time I was talking to her about something tonight, she kept stopping me and saying, you know, I know I need to post on social media. I know that's what's keeping me. I know that I need to keep, you know, I need to keep posting. I need to get out there and do it. And so I wanted to do a call, not just for her, but for our whole team and helping with posting. Because honestly, if you want to move your business forward, if you want to be successful in this business, posting is going to help you get there. Um, and before I start, please, please, please know I am not better than you. I'm not up here and you're down here. I've just been coaching and posting and um, trying new things longer than you have. And so you might go to my page and you might think to yourself, oh, she has all the good posts. She has all these good ideas. She has all the good photos. That's not that's not completely like 110% true. You guys, like there's other coaches out there who have better photos than I do, who have better posts than I do. Um, and there could even be newer coaches that do. It's just who you are and how you share it. And just, feeling like you can always try to be better at something. Um, and you're always like learning if that makes sense. So as I'm going through here, this is just my experience. Um, and so I'm not going to tell you like, this is the only way to do it. I'm just going to tell you from two and a half years of experience, this is what's been working. And I want to share it with you guys to help you do that. Um, same thing. So first of all, the three, when, where, and why. So with posting, when should you post on social media? I have lots of coaches ask me that. And then I honestly just turn around and I say, when are you on social media? That's what SM means. I was lazy taking notes. Um, when are you on social media? So for me, I'm on social media in the morning when I'm going to the bathroom. Sorry. <laughs> um, after school, probably about 5 30, 6 o'clock when I'm like winding down. Um, and then probably like right now is when I would be on social media or maybe like 8.30 or so. And so those are the three times I post every single day. On the weekends, I spread it out a little bit farther just because a lot of people aren't sitting on social media, especially since it's nice out. In the winter, yeah, people are sitting there scrolling. Um, so ask yourself, when do you find yourself scrolling on social media? Because that's when your niche, your niche market is on social media. So if I'm trying to attract moms, which I'm not a mom, um, posting at like six in the morning, six at night and 8.30, probably not the best mom times. I would think maybe like 4.30 in the morning when they're up feeding their baby. I would think like, I don't know, maybe right after school when she's waiting for her kids to get into the car, um, maybe 10 o'clock at night when the kids are finally in bed. So just think about when you're on social media, that's when you should be posting. Um, now, if you're sitting there scrolling like every five minutes, don't post every five minutes. Just find a good time frame. Um, and so traction times, what I mean by that is when are most people on social media, you guys in the morning and at night, probably most, I mean, some people are probably during the day, but like I said, I work eight to four and so I'm not on social media eight to four. And so if you're a stay at home mom, or if you work from home, maybe you notice that your next market is on, um, social media a little bit more, um, than what, you know, than what I am or something, that's when you should be posting. So traction times just means when your people are mostly on Facebook or Instagram. Sorry. I always just say Facebook. Um, 
And then during the day, not while people are sleeping. Um, the only thing is there's a couple of coaches we have on our team from the UK. And so um, about like three or so in the morning, <laughs> some of our coaches are actually like waking up and working out because they're six hours um, ahead of us. And so I guess if I wanted to try to reach them, I could maybe try posting at three in the morning, um, like on Instagram or something like that. But that's why I try to post um, anywhere between you know, two to three times a day trying to reach more than just the United States. Um, where should you be posting? I honestly feel like you should have one platform that you post every single day, and then you should pick another platform where you copy and paste. And so I start on Instagram every single day. Day. I go to Instagram. I use the same exact um, filter on my Snapseed. I post it on Instagram. I lighten it a little bit so people can see it. I post it on Instagram. I type up my um, copy is what I call it, but like your, your post, I type all of that up and then I select all and I copy and then I share it on Instagram. So my post is up. My photo is up. I go to my Facebook app. I click on it. I click post, paste, and then I add my photo and I post it. it takes me like two seconds but I've just contacted two social media platforms. And then what I do since I decided to is I go to my like page, I copy and paste the exact same thing, and then I schedule it for an hour after my personal page. So that way they get Instagram, Facebook, and then my like page about an hour later. Um, and that's just something that I've been doing that works, I guess, so that could be something that you do too. Um, and then obviously you can use your actual like Facebook page or your like Instagram stories or even Snapchat um, where you can post stuff. So on my Instagram stories, I share like the little bits and pieces of my day that I wouldn't really post on social media because people probably don't really care. So my Instagram story, people probably don't care either, but <laughs> they watch it anyways. Um, and so then like Snapchat, that's where you use like those silly filters and you try to catch people. Um, you can share like that you were at prom and showing your sister like I showed my niece today on my Instagram stories. That's not something I'm going to post on social media, but I'm still sharing with them. Um, and then later on, you can run ads on Facebook and Instagram. I just wanted to let you know the possibilities there because some of you coaches are using them. Um, but that's where... Um, else you can be posting obviously and then the big reason is why why should you be posting on social media um, the same thing in my classroom when I teach something to my kids and they say why are we learning this if I don't have a good enough reason for them I shouldn't be standing in front of them teaching it same thing is on posting on social media if you have no idea why you're posting besides I told you to <laughs> if you don't have a good like deep reason why you're posting on social media you're not going to do it you're not going to get out there. You're not going to move your business forward and you will not be around for very long. Um, and so you have to find a reason why you're posting. And for me, like I just wrote down a couple of ideas, but to get you out there versus everyone else, there's tons of beach body coaches. There's tons of it works. There's tons of, um, Isogenic, so there's tons of lip sense. There's tons of other MLMs out there. There's tons of other fitness things out there. What sets you apart from everyone else? That's why you should be posting on social media, not to be the same as me or be the same as Cassie or be the same as Kelly, but to be yourself, to be new, to be fresh and to share you with everyone. Um, so sharing your story, connecting, building your trust with people. Um, I started two and a half years ago posting on social media. I have never missed a day posting on social media. Not one. Not one day have I missed posting on social media. I've had deaths in the family. I've had birthdays. I've had graduations. I've had weddings. I've had crap happen in my life. I've had fights with my husband, but I show up on social media every single day. I don't care if it's one post or it's three. I don't care if I'm being real and raw or I'm sharing like a quote in a photo of myself. I'm sharing something on social media because I know that the second I don't post on social media, I just broke all of the trust. Because for me as a coach, um, think about your challenge groups. Let's say you have a handful of challengers. You have five challengers. They show up every day for the first week. The second week, all of them show up except for one. Your trust just broke with that one person because you're, you're saying to yourself, I just spent 14 days helping this person get started, get going. And then today she gave up on herself. That's breaking trust. And the same thing is with you and your Facebook, you and your Instagram, you and whatever it is. The, the second you don't post, and I'm not trying to say that to like make you feel, um, 
I don't know, like shoved in a box. Like you have to post every single day, but just think about it. You guys like, think about it. Would you be on this call right now? If I'd never posted on social media? No, like you wouldn't be because you wouldn't trust me. You wouldn't understand that I've gotten results. You wouldn't understand. Like, is it okay to unplug? Absolutely. I post on social media and then I go set my phone on the, on the dresser and then I go in the living room. Like I can still unplug and post on social media. I tore my um, hip flexor. I was crabby. I was super bitchy. I was not fun to be around. I was not inspirational, but I still found some way to share that on social media. And then I put my phone down and I like dealt with my life. Like, I just show up because I know people are sitting there waiting for me. Um, the same thing as you show up on your job, whether you're sick or tired or whatever, same thing on social media. Um, sorry, I got off on a tangent. So moving your business forward, getting your wheels turning. So as a coach, you posting on social media gets that wheel turning, gets people thinking, what is she posting about? Why is she talking about this superfood? What is this yellow stuff she drinks every day? I wonder if that, you know, affects blah, blah, blah. Like, why is she always in workout clothes or um, what is she doing in Colorado or why is she down in Mexico? How did she get there? Like all of those posts get the wheel turning, gets that momentum going and gets your business moving forward. And then also to brand yourself. I want to scroll on social media and I want to stop and see a photo and without the wording, I want to know who that is. And that's branding. And we're going to talk about that in a little bit. Um, okay. So <laughs> Like I said, branding yourself. Okay, so there are over like 450,000 Beachbody coaches, probably more than that. Not all of them are active by any means, um, so it's not like something to stress about. However, there's a ton of coaches out there. So what makes you different from everyone else? Okay, so I want you to think about that. And I will be completely honest, I struggled for a year and a half with this page right here, with branding myself, with setting myself apart from everyone else. I felt like I was just a beach body coach. I just worked out. I just did my superfood. I just got results. I wasn't different than anyone else. And I struggled to sign coaches. I struggled to sign challengers for a year and a half until I finally realized that I am mega change and I created myself. I created my own brand. I created who I am. I created um, what I wear. I created, you know, what I do, what I say, how I talk. Um, and no one else can duplicate that. They can copy my posts all they want, but people are going to know that that's me. And it's actually happened. I've had um, a couple of coaches go to my Instagram feed and a, this girl copied six of my posts word for word. I talked about snow days. I talked about being a teacher. I talked about being 27. I talked about having hypothyroidism in my posts. This girl copied my posts, all six of them, posted them on her page and used a different photo, obviously. And I had two people reach out to me and they're like, hey, I just wanted to let you know that this is really weird. This girl's posting and I'm pretty sure it's exactly the same as what you usually say. And pretty soon I like went and looked and the girl legit actually copied all six of my posts and put her photo and other people knew that that was me. Like that is when you know you figured out who the heck you are. And it takes a little bit. You can't just do it overnight. I struggled for a year and a half. You might struggle for like a week. <laughs> I just struggled. I just wasn't really sure who I was because I was trying to be my upline, my coach. And that just, it just didn't work. Like I'm just, I'm not her. I'm myself. Um, so you wear six hats. Beachbody is one of them. So what are your other five hats? Um, you'll probably recognize this. You do this in coach training. I ask you to find five pillars that describe you, that makes you different from everyone else. What makes you unique? What makes you funky? What sets you apart? Um, you know, if I see something, I want to think of you. I have people who send me pictures of cereal and they're like, it's national cereal day. Yep. That's me. My kids at school know I love cereal. My husband, when he like screws up, instead of buying me flowers, he buys me boxes of cereal. Like, it's just life. Like that's just, that's just me. So my five things, I'm a fitness freak. I can take that and I can do whatever I want with it, but that's one of my things. Like I love, I love fitness. I love um, sweating. I love like working out. I love workout clothes. I love Nike. Like I can branch off of that. My second one is an athlete battling the mental game. So I have battled self-doubt for so long. Um, I didn't think I could play in college and I ended up playing in college. I didn't think I would start in college and I ended up starting and having like the best like season of my life. Um, I just battle a lot with um, different things. So like self-doubt was one of those big things for me. Um, and then 
Oh, let me see if I can. Oh, it's okay. All right. And then um, my third one is a health warrior. So I battle with thyroid. I do have IBS that I um, struggle with. Um, and then my depression and my anxiety, they kind of go hand in hand with a thyroid um, disease if you've ever had it before, or if you do have it, you understand them completely. Um, and then my fourth one is a support system. And I always call it support system groupie or support system. Um, so I'm big into family. I love my team. I love my tribe. I love talking about you guys, posting about you guys, sharing things about you guys. Um, and then leadership, like that's just something that I want to be a part of. And so I'm always going to trainings. I'm always trying to better myself. I'm always trying to share that with people. And then my last thing is I'm always like that happy go lucky. I do that weird face, um, like the silly, quirky, energetic face. Like I always do, um, that. So people are like my kids at school, like, um, I think, what was it? They found something on the computer. I think it was like my Instagram because it's public or whatever. But one of them had just said like, why did you smile like that? Like that's, that's not how you smile. And I was like, what are you talking about? And it ha happened to be a day that I posted that I was upset and that it just wasn't a good day. And they like could tell because at school I'm always like, you know, hey, how are you? You know, kind of thing. Or like my kids can even tell at school when I'm, when I'm down, they're like, what's wrong with you? Are you tired? You know, like people notice that. And so they'll notice that too on um, social media. So happy go lucky is one of my five things. So challenge yourself. I want you to think of these five things and I want you to write them down. Beachbody is one of your hats. You're a coach, you're a health and fitness coach. Um, that's just one of your things, but I want to know what other five things that set you apart. So your five things should not be the exact same as mine. Try to get specific. Some coaches get into like they're obsessed with donuts. Some people get in, they're obsessed with food or foodies or whatever. So it can be anything, but just really work to brand yourself. Um, the next part is the dreaded photos. <laughs> so I shared a picture in our team page um, last week when I was in Mexico. Um, there was a photo of me from my honeymoon with um, Aaron, and I was actually a coach at the time. And then I shared a photo of me from Mexico, and I put them side by side, and I was a coach in both photos. And one of them on the like on the left was me when i first started coaching the the lighting was awful you could barely see that i was in the photo um it was blurry the one on the right was like vibrant it popped it um like draw your attention in um and i use different filters and stuff and so you will grow as you go as a coach. Like you're not just going to get it tomorrow. It's going to come with time of looking up different um apps on your phone, um, checking out photos that you really like to see and creating them of your own. Um, I use the same exact filters on every single one of my photos. I use um, Snapseed. It's an app on your phone. And I use the portrait and I use drama and I use it every single time. And then I go to my Instagram and I lighten it a little bit and I use that exact same thing every single time, even on my transformations, even on like everything. <laughs> so when you go to my Instagram feed, it's all the exact same thing. So taking your photos, you have to have fun with them. Um, people love your face and you're gorgeous and you're beautiful, but please just change it up. Like change the angle, change, um, what you're wearing, change the, the, the expression on your face. Um, do I stop scrolling my newsfeed? We've all done it. We scroll our newsfeed and we see something and, and we stop. Why did you stop on that photo? Take note of that. And then do that with your own stuff. Um, be silly. Have fun. Like, tell a story with your photo. Don't just be like, hey, Megan Geese, I'm a health and fitness coach. Like, get in their face. Like, make weird photos. Like, my workout photo this morning, I was like, I was like half crying, half sweating, half like, F you world. And I like took a photo of it. Like I was telling a story through my photo, use different angles, use good lighting. Um, and by that, I mean, I take all of my photos in front of this window that I'm sitting next to because it gives me really good light. Um, I you take all of my photos in my living room because it gives me really good light. My window that's in the front of my house and in the basement, I take them by the window that's in the basement and I have my, um, my circle light next to it. And I take photos throughout the day or when I have time, I take like 10 photos and then throughout the week I use those photos. So this morning I was, or this afternoon I was driving home from Sioux city. I used a photo from like four days ago and posted it on social media. No one knows that. Like no one's going to be like, Oh my God, this was from four days ago. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. They're worried about what you're saying. They're worried about stopping their scroll and then what you have to say. So a lot of times, um, things that I post 
at night. I might have taken the photo earlier that day, so I have really good lighting. Um, and so, I don't know, like just trying to work a good spot in your house where you have good lighting, you have different angles, um, and then using previous photos from like your day. So um, a lot of coaches take all of their photos like in the morning, and then they just pick and choose that night or later on in the week. That's why a lot of them have the same clothing on, but you don't really notice it because their photos are so jaw dropping that you just stop scrolling and you read everything that they have to say. Use the apps that are out there. There's so many apps out there. Find an app that you really like to change your photo. I'm not saying that you're not pretty enough. I'm not saying you need a filter. I'm just saying have fun with it. Like have fun with it. Find something that pops. Find something that adds color. Find something that makes it brighter. Whatever it is. Um, and then stay consistent with that. Uh, like I told you before, every photo I have, I go through the same exact motion every single time. Portrait, drama, and then I lighten it every single time. Um, and then just post and learn from it. So if it goes good, post another one like that. If it sucks, who cares? Don't ever post it again. Um, if you get really good engagement, sweet, awesome. Do another one of those in four days. Um, if you have a post that's absolutely rocking it, let it rock. Like if I post a um, thing tonight at eight o'clock and it goes and it's awesome and people are still commenting like tonight, you know, tomorrow morning at six, I might wait till 730 before I post my workout. Yeah. If you have a post that's doing really well, just let it go and let it keep going. Um, content creation. I feel like this is where some of us um, do tend to struggle on. And I don't want to say that like um, bad by any means. I just, it's just that coming up with things to post about um, is kind of hard sometimes. And so that's why I created that team calendar um, or that posting calendar in our team page. Um, because it just gives you like an idea of what I should be posting. And so when I was a new coach, I just was like, Hey, this is a cute outfit. And I posted it on social media. And then I was like, I'm working out. I posted it on social media. And then I was like, look at the balloon in the sky I posted it on social media. Cause like, I had no idea what to post about. Nobody ever told me what to post about. Um, and so that's why I created that calendar to try to help you, um, just give an idea of what to post. And so I'm going to try to do that same thing for May as well, if that's okay with you guys, just to give you an idea of what to post, but you should have like an end in mind. Um, so before the call, I mentioned that this week we're going to have like a challenge group sneak peek. And so you can be dropping hints about your challenge groups. Like, what do you love about the challenge group? Um, maybe a challenger sent you a message. Maybe you feel better. Maybe you love the support. Maybe you love the nutrition. Maybe you love logging in every morning and kicking butt virtually. Like, whatever it is, sharing those on social media and then sharing things from your five pillars that we just talked about. Um, and I put share your six things, but obviously like one is beach body anyways. So challenge groups, coaching, um, life happenings, things that happen to you. And then just sharing you in general, it's okay to take a really good photo of you. And cause you guys are all beautiful and sharing it on social media with a cute quote. It's okay to do that every once in a while. Like that's called balance. Um, it's okay to take a picture of you, um, messing with your dog and tell a story about your husband. It doesn't have to be a photo of your hubby. It doesn't have to be a photo of what you're talking about. You just need to get people to stop scrolling and then talk to them about stuff. So some coaches take really weird photos and then they talk about like a challenge group or they take really goofy photos and they talk about something that really sucked that day. Like it doesn't have to match. It just has to get people's attention. Um, and then what did you need to hear when you started? So when you came across my page or your coach's page, what set me apart or what set your coach apart from other coaches? Because in all honesty, like I go to bed every night, so blessed to know that I have you guys on my team because there's 450,000 coaches you could have chose from and you guys chose me. And like, that like makes me like, I'm gonna start crying. Ugh. That like, seriously, it makes me feel so incredibly blessed because you could have chose somebody else. You could have connected with somebody else. You could have um, went to your neighbor and signed up with them instead or whoever, but you guys chose to sign up with me or your coach. Why? Why did you sign up with them? I was talking with one of the coaches today on my call um, on the way home and she was just saying that I was relatable that something I said, one of my posts connected with her. There was something about, you know, my anxiety that really connected with her and it drove that part in. Um, and it's okay to like, no, I signed up with my coach because she posted about a transformation. She had a really good before and after, and that's what I was interested in. And that's why I signed up. 
I'm not a mom. She's a mom. So I didn't connect on that level. Um, you know, I just seriously just connected because I wanted a transformation and she had one. So that's why I joined her. Um, and then think about too, like before Beachbody, where were you? How were you feeling? Um, what did a day look like? What did you struggle with? And then think about where you're at right now. So maybe you have the best support system right now that you've ever had and you didn't have it before. Maybe you feel like a hundred bucks, like a hundred bucks because you felt like zero before you started Beachbody. You know, maybe you, um, I don't know, have never been so incredibly happy since you've joined Beachbody because before you were struggling. Take people through that. Always bring them through through. Um, but then make sure you finish on a high. Don't just like leave them in the dark because then they're going to end up like, go in like cutting their wrists and like hating themselves. <laughs> so like take them through the dark times, but then bring them out on a high. So like, I'll talk about my anxiety and depression. Like this morning, um, I had a really bad morning. Like I woke up because I had so much anxiety. I just couldn't sleep. I didn't, I just had a lot of garbage going on and I have a lot of stuff going on in my life. And I took people through that feeling and I caught a lot of people this morning, like. I felt that exact same thing. And then at the end I was like, but I pushed play. I feel like a rock star and I'm ready to kick butt. So like you can bring people through that. It's okay to share real and raw stuff with them. Just make sure you always finish like on that high. Make sure you always have a place for them um, to go to have um, like a positive place to end on. So uh, a lot of you guys just asked like how I get my, um, my wording for my posts. Um, and so honestly, just how you talk like how you talk, use your own words, use your own voice. Um, whether it's short and funny, maybe you're super sarcastic. I know some of you on here are definitely sarcastic. Um, use that, like use that in your posts. Um, my posts tend to get like long, but they're kind of real and raw, which is good. I guess I try to do both. Um, so like there's that balance there. Some of you are really good storytellers. Some of you are really good at choosing like inspirational quotes. Um, so it's just using your own voice. Um, talk how you normally talk. And so I say y'all way too much. Like my husband's always like, stop. <laughs> like I can't help it. I just, it just sounds so fun. Just gives me energy. Um, I say, Hey girl, way too much. I need to find something else to say. Um, I'm always like, Hey girl. Oh my God. <laughs> and my husband, I said it to him one day. He's like, I'm not a girl. First of all, <laughs> I just get so used to saying it. It's just something I say. Um, I say, Oh my God, all the time. Or, Oh my gosh. I say it all the time. Uh, I say like a lot. And so I put that in my posts. Um, I say, um, a lot. I notice it. I put it in my posts sometimes, uh, use quotes, personal development from your, for inspiration. So uh, when I first started coaching, I went to Google, I typed in, I don't know, feeling like a badass, and there's tons of quotes. <laughs> I typed in um, struggling with workout quotes, tons of quotes. There's just places where you can start and get inspiration from. You can use the quote and then talk about how it relates to you. You can tie it into what you're talking about. You can just use it for inspiration. If you're not doing personal development, you should be. If you don't know what personal development is, we have a problem. Um, listening to something inspirational. So um, if I get if I listen to Josh Coates and he says something to me and I write it down on a piece of paper. My post probably, my next post, or maybe tomorrow, I'm going to talk about that quote. I'm going to talk about how I felt. I'm going to talk about how it relates to my life. Uh, and then, again, what did you need to hear as a coach from me or from your coach? What did your coach say that you were like, yep, this is my coach. I need to join her. I need to be on her team. We need to be, like, rocking this together. What happened? Like, what did you read? What did you hear? Um, how did you relate? Those kinds of things. And then you do that and you're talking to your person. Um, so if you remember, I posted in our team page a picture of a girl that has blonde hair, and then there was like a little blurb next to it telling you all of these things about this lady, her age, where she lived, what she liked to do, creating that avatar. Um, I really encourage you to do that because then that way you know who you're talking to and who you're posting to. Uh, for a year and a half, you guys, I was posting to everyone I literally was like trying to get anyone and everyone to join me. And I had this many people join me until I figured out that my niche is not necessarily, um, moms of like three or four or five kids, but sometimes those moms are badass people who love fitness or who love helping people 
or who are passionate about helping people or who are my, fr my fitness freaks. And so they can still be moms, but there's this other piece that I connect with. Um, there's people on our team who are not moms, but they probably have a dog. They probably fit into my five pillars somewhere. Um, and so just thinking about who you're talking to. So if you're a mom, that's an incredible market you have out there that I don't have. Like I can't post on social media and say, I totally get you at two 30 in the morning. My babe woke up sick. Like, no, it's just Aaron and he'll be fine. <laughs> like, you know, I don't, I don't have that. You have that share that with people. Um, you know, that's what makes you, you, you know, if you don't have a kid and you get to sleep in on Saturday, like I probably relate to some people and they're probably like, Hey, that's me too. That's okay to relate to different people. And just because you're a mom does not mean you can't help people who are not moms and vice versa. Um, so just kind of keep that in mind. And then always remember with your post, like, are you being authentic? Are you like, making up your own posts or are you like that girl who went to my Instagram and copied six of my posts and put them on her Instagram? It's okay to use, to copy and paste like the ones that are generic, like, um, I'm looking for 10 girls, blah, 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 like, or whatever, or about to be mindset. You can still make those your own though. You can still reword them if you want to. You can still um, put different emojis. You can still put different like stars or whatever it is. Um, those are okay. Like generic ones I think are okay. Um, but honestly, like if you, I'm reading like April's post and she's talking about her family and her kids and how they work out with her every morning and how I'm not going to copy that. Why would I copy that? <laughs> like that's not me. Um, it's funny because in my posts I use y'all, I use, Oh my God, I use Hey girl, like, like I use weird words. And then to see it on someone else's post, I'm like, that's not you. You're like, you don't talk that way. I do. So just knowing that, you know, you can't always just go and take people's posts. You can get really good ideas or like, um, just using like those generic ones. Um, okay. Last couple of things. So consistency, you guys is everything. I promise you. Um, if you're a newer coach, you're sitting here saying nobody is signing up with me right now. Nobody's messaging me back right now. I have three likes on my page. One's my mom, one's my husband and one's some random person from down the street. Nobody's commenting on my stuff. Guess what? I have been there. I still am there some days. Like my husband's sometimes the only person that likes my stuff for a while. It's okay. But consistency is everything. You guys posting at least one time every single day, you have 24 hours in a day. You can find like five minutes or less to post one time. Okay. At least once this, like I had a hard time talking about this because you guys already post on social media. Like a lot of you are already like blowing up my newsfeed two to three times a day. It's probably like your best bet, like in the morning and like mid afternoon. And then at night it's probably going to be your best bet. Um, but at least one time if you're going through garbage, it's okay to share something. If you're not comfortable with sharing that you're fighting with your husband, like find something else to post about. Um, just share something because you're building trust through your page. Um, if I am a secret admirer of Ashley and I follow her every single day and she posts Monday and she posts Tuesday and Wednesday and she doesn't post on Thursday, guess what? unfollow, go find another coach. Like, I'm not even kidding you. People seriously do that. Um, and it's not cause they hate you and cause they're heartless. It's literally just because like they trusted you, they need you. Um, and that's, it's a good thing as a coach. I think if you're a mom, you understand that. Like if you go to the bathroom, your kids are like, mom, what are you doing? Mom, <laughs> you know, like my dog does the same thing, falls me in there, but like they're building that trust with you. Um, so just understand that you're building that through your page show up no matter what it's five minutes of your day. It does not mean use the same photo being present and using the same photo, not the same thing. Show up on social media, find ways to just like be fresh and new and energetic and different. Um, don't always take like the same exact like photo. Like I did that as a coach. Let me like ruin that for you. <laughs> I made the mistake when I first started coaching, I was literally that person that was like, Hey, worked out. Hey, it worked out. Like everyone was like, yeah, we get it. You work out. Um, so just try to like make it different, have fun, you know, be different. Don't be fake, be real and raw. And if you're not ready to like rip the bandaid off and tell people you struggle with anxiety and depression that you're fighting with your husband or that, um, you had a really good day and you're a badass. Like if you're not ready to say that to people, at least give them some sort of something, if that makes sense. So as slowly as you possibly can, um, 
do what you feel comfortable with. And then as you go along, you're going to get more comfortable. I know a coach on this call, she started, she was overweight. She was unhappy. She hated herself and you could see it in her posts. And now she has like a six pack ab and she's like, Hey, look at me. Like I'm a rock star. Like people change and then your posts change and your, your momentum changes and like where you're at changes. Um, and then it does take making a habit or it does take you making it a habit. The same thing with your fitness journey, showing up every single day, you guys posting on social media and being a coach is the exact same thing. There's some days I don't want to send messages to people. I don't want to post on social media and I don't want to talk to anybody, but I show up every day because I know someone out there is life is going to change because of a post or one of our coaches needs help or, you know, something. So just showing up a little bit every single day consistently over time, I promise you will pay off in the end. Um, so quick, I just have some examples just to kind of share with you. Um, Again, I'm not perfect, so please don't sit here and be like, oh, you know, whatever, because I'm not. So this is an example of just a really short post. My photo, I look like an idiot, so hopefully people are stopping to, like, read my post. It just says, you wouldn't even believe me if I told you, and people are like, uh, let me see. You know, like, it draws people in. I have good spacing, um, and then I just talk. I use uh, caps a lot. I add in, like, exclamation points, question marks. Um, you know, a little bit of emojis. I'm not a big emoji person just because it takes me way too long to pick like a really cute one. And then I forget what I'm going to say. And then if I go back and add it in, I feel like an idiot. So anyway, so this is like short and sweet to the point. So you wouldn't believe me if I told you next week, your life is about to change forever. Next week, all of your prayers and nutrition questions will be answered. No workouts required, no portion control needed, no strict, strict diet or saying no, no more stress, letting stress control you. Yep. All of those and so much more. Drop your email below. I'll send you details. What's a little information going to hurt. They have no idea I'm talking about 2B mindset. They have no idea that like, I don't know, launches May 2nd. They have no idea it's through Beachbody. Like they have no idea. It's, it's mystery marketing. So hopefully people are like, what are you talking about? You know, and maybe drop their comment below or ask a question. And then I always put like my link to my Facebook group in the comments. Um, here's one. I'm just being an idiot. I was happy because I got new shorts and I, I don't know, they actually fit. So I was like, anyone else celebrate this? ask a question. They have no idea what I'm talking about. I use a couple of emojis. I still feel like an idiot because I use them, but whatever. Um, told them dance party, having fun. It's a small victory. I love that part about challenge groups. I love when coaches message me and they're like, I'm down 10 pounds. I'm like, Oh my God, are you serious? Just change someone's life. Um, and so I asked them to drop a victory below trying to get engagement, asking for it from people. Um, I'm still talking about my mindset change group. So just dropping hints. Um, sorry for my butt. <laughs> um, raise your hands if you're a human, you know, like trying to catch people and relate to them. This one's a little bit longer of a post. So like I said, I try to get, you know, both in there from short and sweet to kind of longer and telling a story. Um, this one, hopefully the photo, you're like, oh my gosh, where was she? What is she doing? Trust your gut. Like, what is she even talking about? So like my posts really had nothing to do with the picture. It was more just about like, I don't know, joining the opportunity. The picture just stopped the scroll. And then the, the wording is just something that like, you know, they get from it. You know, like, I know you've been on the fence about this journey, constantly scrolling through my newsfeed for more posts, hoping that there's another opportunity for you to join. I get it. I told you I was in the same way. I creeped my coach for months. Like just letting people know, I know that they creep the crap out of me. Like they need to message me. They need to do this with me. My photo doesn't necessarily go with that, if that makes sense. Um, Having fun with transformations, it doesn't have to be a super boring one where you're like before, after, like do something that's fun and crazy. Um, so then I have, so what are your goal, weight loss goals right now? I kept having people ask me that and I hate that because I'm like, weight does not define me, but you know, and then I tied it into, you know, can it be feeling um, great in your skin? You know, I feel amazing. I dropped this and this, but I feel amazing. Um, you know, looking forward to my new challenge group. Um, you know, you can still join me. What do you say? Blah, blah, blah. You know, just trying to tie people in. So just having fun. If you can tell with all of these, like I have the same filter, I have the same like, um, portrait drama with lightning. Everything's the exact same. And then the last part I have is the wheel of the big Mo. So the big Mo is momentum. Um, the wheel is you posting. And so momentum is really big in this business. You guys like it is 
huge. And our team right now, our momentum has been freaking on fire and it's been building and growing since January. And it's going to push us into the end of 2018. But we as coaches have to keep the wheel going. Um, posting starts that wheel because you post on social media, you engage with people, you have a conversation with them. Hey, thanks for the love on my post. How is your day going? Um, are you ever interested in joining? Like whatever questions you ask them, you send like an invite, you start talking to them, they sign up with you, they're challengers, and then they end up on coach calls like all of you guys because they're rock star coaches. And then you build your tribe. Like that is the process. That's how this works. You post on social media, you engage people, you have a conversation, you invite them, they sign up, you have a challenger that's kick ass and you turn them into a coach and then they build their own tribe. Like that's seriously how this works. That's the wheel of the big momentum. And so you're always building that trust constantly with people by posting on social media and showing up. Um, and then think of to be mindset coming out. It comes out May 2nd. When May 2nd hits and when I as Susie wakes up in the morning and I want to get to be mindset, who am I going to go to? Who am I going to go and message? Who am I going to go and ask for to be mindset? Am I going to go to Ashley because she posted every single day last week about it and I know she's offering the opportunity? Or am I going to go to Katie because she posted last Sunday about, I don't even know. It's Sunday right now. I probably shouldn't have used that. But like, who are people going to go to? You know, like you want them to think of you. So when people think of to be mindset, I want them to think of mega change mindset. I want them to join me. I want them to know I'm always here. I want them to know I'm battling right next with them. Like that's why posting is so important. You guys you are building that trust um, and understand that. And you have relationships. You guys are all, you know, gorgeous. You've had relationships before with other people. Um, I think about like with my husband, for an example, it takes so long, you guys, to build trust with people. It takes so long. And in a second, you can break it. It's the same thing with your business. It takes so long for you to build trust with your followers, but it's so worth it, you guys. And in a second, you can break it by just giving up on yourself and like not showing up, if that makes sense. And I don't say that to scare you guys. I seriously say that to just like bring it to light and let you guys know that even though you have four likes on your page, you might have 40 people following you, 40 people creeping your page. Four people were just super out there like, I'm going to click and I'm going to like it. You might have one person comment on your photo, but you have like 50 people waiting to comment on it or waiting for you to message them. You know, like you just have to think about that. You're building trust with your posts. And so just know that it takes forever to build it. And so newer coaches, they always like tell me, that they're super stressed because they only had four likes or, um, you know, no one's engaging on their stuff or they don't have anyone to reach out to because nobody's liked on there or commented or whatever. It takes time. You guys, it takes time to build. It takes time to get that trust. Um, there's other coaches out there. There's other options out there. There's other pills out there. There's other whatever out there. Why are they going to choose you? Why are they going to come to you? And then like, why are they going to sign up with you? So hopefully that makes sense. Um, okay. I blabbed really long. I apologize. I always do that. Um, do you guys have any questions or anything that I can answer for you right now? Um, tomorrow I'll go live and help you with the monthly calendar, but just didn't know if anyone had any burning questions. Nobody. You guys are like my first period algebra class. All sleeping. <laughs>